Hi there and welcome back to my Simple Style 6. So maybe you've watched my video on my Simple Style system to your capsule wardrobe. I'll pop the link below just in case you haven't. If you've watched my video, you might remember that my Simple 6 is all about mixing six pieces in your wardrobe to get maximum results. I call a six a micro capsule and if you mix two micro capsules together, you get about 50 looks. So it's a really simple way to kickstart your capsule wardrobe. A little reminder, of the six, you should have three tops, two bottoms, and one outer layer. I love a dress, and the dress can count as a bottom for the purposes of Simple Style Six. And it can be great to have one thing in your six, but don't stress about it too much, that is one of your style superheroes. Those fantastic pieces that you absolutely love and add a little bit of pizzazz to your wardrobe. If you've not seen my video on style superheroes, I'll pop it in the link below and you can have a watch. Here we go. I'm Alexandra Alenska, and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno, as well as magazines, including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times, and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions, such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life, because I know you're ready to rock life again. So in today's Simple Style 6, we've got this stripy top, I love a stripy top. They somehow feel instantly more polished, perhaps because of their associations with French chic. I have to confess, the moths have had a little nibble at this top, um, which I've had for about 10 years. And that's the thing about buying quality garments, of course. They're going to last you for much longer, especially when we're talking about quality basics that are just going to elevate your wardrobe. So this one's actually from Chanel, but I've also got a great striped t-shirt from The Gap that I bought about 10 years ago. I don't wear it so often, but nevertheless, it's still going strong, the navy and white striped one. And of course, we all know that it's a very simple, if slightly cliched way of adding a little French touch to your wardrobe by donning some everyday stripes. What I love about stripes is that you can easily dress them up or dress them down. Next, I've got this beautiful pané velvet top from Gabriella Hurst. It feels, it's so strokeable. Now, I love tactile garments, silky garments, fluffy garments, anything that's gonna feel amazing next to my skin, and um, then that isn't gonna itch because I've got very sensitive skin, and that just is so strokeable. And you know what, if you want to stroke and feel your own clothes, then other people are going to have that visual sense of tactility too. So it makes you seem much more approachable in some ways. Pane velvet is that long pile velvet, so you can stroke it in one direction. Like a rabbit, you know, you don't want to stroke it the other way. It's, it's not quite so not quite so silky if you stroke it the other way. Um, so Gabriella Hurst is now the creative director of Chloe. She also has her own brand, Gabriella Hurst. And she's really one of my favorite designers because what she creates is real clothes for real women, for all different situations. And she's got an incredible, sustainable, ecological practice. Now, I don't like to give up style um, for the sake of sustainability. I'm not into like hippie clothes at all, bar a few beach dresses, like bohemian beach dresses. So Gabriella Hurst manages to balance that idea of luxury and sustainability, and she does it so very well. So it's great that she's become the creative director of Chloe. This is a top that she does um, sporadically. Maybe she has, maybe it's a full-time top, but I've seen it sporadically come into the store every few seasons um, and sometimes in a dress version too, sometimes in different fabrics. You can see it's got this little chiffon trim at the edge that just finishes it off nicely. And you can wear this with a uh, turtleneck or a long sleeve t-shirt underneath if you want to have it more casually or if you want to wear uh, a bra with straps underneath. This is also bias cut, so it's got that lovely slinky feel on the body. So voila. Next up, we've got actually an active wear top. I love the idea that you can wear active wear on an everyday basis. Beyond sort of the idea of athleisure, you can pair a more active wear top with some formal trousers, such as these Jill Sander trousers here, um, which are absolutely fantastic pleat front trousers. 
So this one is from Olympia Activewear. I love this sort of quite sexy cut and it's got that built-in bra on the inside so you get a little bit of support. And that's one of the great thing about so many of these activewear tops. Something else we talk about in my midlife midriff video is that idea of using jewellery, using necklaces to create that vertical line, just like we were talking about with the um, with a cardigan or a blazer left open. So you can see that this uh, this necklace is fairly long and what that does is it just creates that, that line going inwards as does this top, the focus is on the middle of the body as opposed to drawing the eye inwards like this, like the necklace, as opposed to outwards um, if you are larger in this area, as some women are at midlife and beyond. Now you might say it's all very well for you, you've got a slim waist. Yes, I have. I'm very blessed in that way. But even me, I have put on two dress sizes and this area for me is much larger than it used to be. Um, but this trick works for all different body shapes and sizes. Of course, you know, if you're a size 20, then it's not suddenly going to make you look like a size 8. But, you know, so it's really about little incremental upgrades that are going to leave you feeling elevated every day, especially at midlife and beyond. My outer layer is a lovely, thick, heavy, oh, the weight of this cashmere is incredible. So this is from Salon Seti in Paris, which is a brand that I do creative direction and consult for. And it is incredibly versatile and the quality of the cashmere is really unparalleled. It's incredible. It's got this lovely weight to it so it hangs properly. And also I think that cardigans are massively underrated. Sometimes cardigans can have slight granny connotations. And I just think that that's really unfair. And also grannies rock them sometimes. <laughs> um, I love a cardigan like this because you get that vertical line down the front, which if you've watched my midlife midriff video, um, you'll know that it's all about creating these vertical lines down the body that create a sort of fake waist area so that it can be very, very flattering. So lose the granny connotations. Cardigans are amazing. Also, I'm somebody that gets cold all the time, so I love a cardigan. If you really want a flattering style, um, you can get cardigans. This one's designed so that you can button it up come the winter or also I like to wear it sometimes just with a with a bra underneath that slightly shows for a bit of French oh la la but if you want a really flattering cardigan you know for that midlife midriff effect um just choose one that's not got buttons that's not designed to wrap around or button up because you'll have less volume here it will be slightly more fitted here and it will just it's designed to hang so that you really get that vertical column down the front um which gives you the impression of having a slimmer waist, for instance. I also love to wear a cardigan over a slip dress or, you know, a slightly more dressed up dress because it just kind of pulls them down a little bit. And my final garment for today is this dress. Woo, it's long uh, from Proenza Scuola. I love the American designers Proenza Scuola. Their names can be quite difficult to pronounce sometimes if you're not practiced Proenza Scuola um, because they create really modern classical styles. I know that sounds like a paradox contemporary classical, but they've really got a great sense of modernity. They work a lot with the stylist Marie Chez, um, who's a great editorial stylist. They take this inspiration from like classic couture, classic French couture, but then they've also got this incredible modernity to them. They've really got a sense of how to update classical styles or classical tailoring to make it seem really right and relevant for now. They're some of my favorite designers and every year I like to buy a dress from them. They also do a lot of dresses with long sleeves, which is something that I'm often asked about. So I love to wear um, a top sometimes underneath a dress. Recently I was working with a beautiful lady who had a work event and it was the first time that she was going to be representing herself at a work dinner. She also works in a business where there's very few females um, in the tech world or relatively few females anyway. Um, so I think she said there was three women out of 20 people. And actually we got her a jumpsuit because she wanted something that was elegant and modern where she could really represent herself as a leader. It's all about dressing elegantly from the inside out, isn't it? Especially as a leader where you're inspiring and influencing others. And I've got a whole video on that that you can watch. I'll pop the links below. So here you can see I put this active wear top underneath and the reason I was mentioning my lovely, lovely tech client is because um, the jumpsuit actually had quite a deep um, slit here. So we simply just put like a tube top underneath that looked therefore like a design detail. And just like this, it just kind of fills in that gap um, so that you can still wear styles that feel a little bit more va-va-voom, that you know, give you a bit of a lift, 
but also feel entirely work appropriate and incredibly chic. So here we go, my simple style six for this week.